This is Pastor Bob Richardson welcoming you to A Moment in the Word, a ministry of Southside Church, Lakeland, Florida. Join Pastor Stevens as he shares a moment from God's Word that just may transform your life. Let me ask you this question today. Have you ever sensed or felt that God called you to do something for Him? Some of the words that may describe this happening in your life are words like humbled, amazed, stunned, as well as inadequate. It is a time when there may be excitement and yet a sense of feeling overwhelmed at the tasks that you feel that God is calling you to do. We see this played out in scripture in the lives of many that God called. We've mentioned one such person by the name of Jeremiah who was very young and felt totally inadequate for the task. And while he felt frustrated and wanted to quit at times, he could not turn away from the call because it became like a fire inside of him that he expressed as being like a fire shut up within his bones and he could not keep silent. Another example is Ezekiel. He too was young. He came from a priestly family and he ministered during the same time period as Jeremiah. Jeremiah was prophesying or ministering in Jerusalem and Ezekiel would minister to the exiles that were still living in Babylon. Ezekiel's call is one of the most graphic calls from God that we have in the scripture. His call is marked by a vision of God that is very graphic and specific. From the first chapter of Ezekiel, his call begins during a camping trip on the Kebar River. From verse one, Ezekiel calls his vision as a vision of God. And then in verse two, he specifically states that he felt the hand of the Lord take hold of him. His vision is of the throne of God and is graphic enough to produce a Hollywood movie. Remember, we're talking though about being called to endure. We might think that when God calls us in some dramatic way that this is some kind of indication that God is going to keep us from harm or incident. But rather we find that the call is given to place a holy resolve within us to accomplish the call. You see, endurance is that trait that gives us resolve and a desire to continue. It helps us to focus on the vision God called you to, not the response of those around you. So let me give you three quick things that might help you to endure. First of all, always remember that God called you. When the Spirit of the Lord would come upon Ezekiel, positive things happened. Visions were given and a word from God would come forth. We cannot become self-focused nor think that our calling has to do with some professional ability. But rather we must focus upon who called us and remember that the work is His and we are only His voice. The second thing to remember is always maintain a close relationship with God through daily prayer and Bible reading. Prayer and the Word, prayer and the Word. These are the basics that if discarded will destroy everything we need to produce a work for God. You see, God's presence in our life is what keeps us going and produces the power and the direction for what we need. If we're going to speak for God, we must know God on a daily personal basis. The third thing that I want to bring to your attention is always seek to build relationships that are encouraging. Proverbs 12, 25 says, worry weighs a person down and an encouraging word cheers a person up. And I do not know of a place in life where an encouraging word is not appreciated more than when you're seeking with all your heart to be a spokesman for God. If you read the story of Ezekiel, you will find a man who needed an encouraging word from time to time. God's presence can encourage us, but fellow workmen in the work of God can go a long way in helping us to feel encouraged and on track with our mission. So don't focus on the naysayers, but rather focus on the encouragers. 
So where are you today? Are you enduring for Christ or are you ready to throw in the towel? I pray that today you will be encouraged to endure. Everyone will not love you nor appreciate you, but God will reward you if you are faithful to his call. So may God bless you today is my prayer as you endure for him. Thank you for joining us. Need prayer? Email us at church at southsideag.com and we will pray for you.